my children attend Model Elementary. And when my daughter began at Model, there were only three male teachers in the building. And so I realized very quickly, although my children have very strong male role models within their family and within the community, that there were a lot of children that didn't. And this was a way to get men into the, into the schools and for children to see different jobs and role models. I think the biggest thing that kids enjoy about this is, is just having somebody new come in and read to them. And I think a lot of them understand that that person is taking time out of their day to share about their job and how reading impacts their job and their personal life and that in turn builds quality relationships. Real Men Read runs four weeks and it always runs right after Goshen's one week fall break and it is always completed by Thanksgiving break. We are now at 93 volunteers. We've expanded from just a handful of second grade classrooms to include all first, second, third, and fourth grade classrooms in Goshen Community Schools. All of our gentlemen receive four books with four prompt cards, and so all of the information is spelled out for them. It's pretty powerful to see 85 to 90 people in one room, and all those men are going to be spanning out over all of our elementary schools. I really, really encourage anyone to get involved in volunteering in a variety of programs. We have three that are funded by the United Way, Real Men Read, which is strictly male readers, Reading Camp, which is a one-on-one -on -one program, and then Spring Into Books is growing out of a need to want to include our, our women readers in the community in doing an activity where they can engage with a classroom of students. I know a lot of our men have run into their students in public locations and it's very exciting for those children to see somebody that they know. I think that we are a very tight-knit community even though we've grown quite a bit over the years so I think that it just builds a strong relationship between the adults in our community and the children in our community.